Hello Excel enthusiasts, welcome back to Know How, where we explore the wonders of spreadsheet and dive deep into the Excel's powerful functions. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss, index and match. These two functions, when combined, can become your secret weapons for retrieving data in Excel. In this video, I will guide you a step-by-step -step process to use index and match functions to retrieve data in Excel's spreadsheet. So don't go away and watch this video till end. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. Before we dive into the formula, let's understand the purpose of the index and match function. Index allows us to extract data from a range based on its position, while match helps us locate the position of the specific value in a range. Together they form a dynamic door that can retrieve data from large data set quickly and efficiently. For this demonstration, I will be using the simple examples of the sales record. Now the next step is to understand the syntax. Let's break down the syntax of the index function. It follows the format index bracket start array comma row number comma column number. The array refers to the range of data from which we want to extract the information. The row number specifies the row number from which we want to retrieve data and the optional column number specifies the column number if omitted index return to the entire row. Now the syntax of the match formula consists of three things lookup value, lookup array and match. The lookup value is the value we want to find within the range. The lookup array is the range in which we want to search and the optional match type determines the type of match we want to perform. With the understanding of both functions, let's combine them to retrieve the sales amount of a specific employee in this data. I have made this worksheet to apply this index and match formula. In this sheet, we have the four year sales record of the employees, their employee ID, name, sales 2019, sales 2020, sales 2021, and sales 2022. And on the basis of this data, we want to check the performance of the employee. To check the performance of the employees, I have made a box over here to check the individual sales report. The first thing that I have to do is to create the drop down list of the employees name over here. So for this purpose, I will select this cell and go to the data tab and in the data I will go to the data validation select the data validation in the settings I will select the list and then the source I will select the names of all the employees and then I will click OK now you can see that I have drop down button with this cell so I can select the name of any employee just by clicking this drop down button after creating the drop down box for the employee name now it's time to apply the index and match formula so here i will write equal index bracket start and first i have to give the array means i have to give the whole table so i select the table and then press f4 to lock it then comma match bracket start now I have to give the lookup value the lookup value is the employee name that I have created with the drop down so I click this and then press F4 to lock it then the lookup array lookup array is the name of the all the employees so I select this list and again I press the F4 to lock it and then comma for exact match I write 0 and close this bracket after this again I write comma and match bracket start this time the lookup value is the sales 2019 but keep in mind that I am not locking this cell then comma and then the lookup array lookup array is actually the headings of the main table i will lock this by pressing f4 
and then for the exact match I will write 0 close the bracket again close the bracket and then press enter now you can see that it is giving me the sales of the employee in 2019 for calculating his sale for the rest of the years I will right click on the bottom right corner you can see that the sales for the other years is also calculated now you can simply change the name from this list and get the sales report of any employee in your employee list another thing that you can apply in this worksheet is the chart so I will select this data go to the insert tab and then click the recommended chart and in the recommended chart just click the first bar chart and then click OK so you can see that it is giving me the sales report in the graphical manner now I can easily understand that the sale of this employee is increasing year by year for example I change the name to another employee now I can see that the sales of this employee is decreasing year by year so you can get a good visual by adding this graphical chart to your spreadsheet congratulations you have now mastered the art of using index and match function in Excel by combining these two powerful function you can retrieve data with precision and flexibility from large data set. Let's summarize what we have created in this video. We begin by understanding the purpose of index and match function. Index function allow us to extract database on position while match helps us locate the position of the specific data within the range. Then we discuss the syntax of both the functions. The index function requires an array row number and the optional column number while the match function requires lookup value lookup array and optional match type then we combine the index and match function to retrieve the sales amount of a specific employee at the end of the video i have demonstrated how you can add a bar chart to check the performance of the specific employee thank you for joining us today in this journey of mastering index and match we hope this video has equipped you with a valuable tool that will enhance your Excel skills. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more Excel tutorials and leave any question or suggestion in the comments section below. Until next time, keep exploring and unleashing the powerful potential of Excel. Happy spreadsheeting!